hi makers welcome back to my channel it's sierra with sierra's crafty creations and today we're going to be crocheting this beautiful twisted headband this is such a fun pattern and it's beginner friendly so this pattern is really for anyone and it's such a classic look so let's go ahead and jump into all the materials that you're going to need to create one of these beauties today i'm going to be using lion brands vanna choice yarn this is in the mustard colorway and this is a size 4 medium worsted weighted yarn and 100% acrylic. You can use any size 4 yarn that you'd like. So pick your favorite and we are going to need 100 yards of this. So if you're using Vantage Choice, you're going to use a little bit less than half of your ball of yarn. And we're also going to need a 5 millimeter H crochet hook. This is my friend's hook. If you've seen any of my other tutorials, you'll know this is my favorite. And you're going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. And the stitches that we're going to use in this pattern are we're going to chain and we're going to half double crochet. That's it, you guys. Just two things. So you can totally do this. So let's grab our five millimeter crochet hook and our size four yarn, and let's jump into this pattern. First up, we're going to need to create a slip knot to begin. So to do a slip knot, you're going to take your yarn, circle it around your index finger, and take your middle finger and your thumb to pinch at the bottom. You're gonna take this tail and wrap it around and while you're wrapping, you're going to remove your index finger and it's going to have this loop. You're going to keep wrapping this and you're going to tuck it under your thumb. You're going to pull this out. And then you're going to remove your fingers, hold the top loop and pull down. And that is your slip knot. Now you're going to insert your hook and you can pull on your working yarn, which is the yarn still attached to your ball, to tighten it. So if you just hold on to your tail on this side and pull this side, it will tighten to your hook. And we're gonna start with what we call a chain, which is how many, we're gonna chain as much as we need to get the width of our headband. So we're chaining the width. We're going to start with chaining 16. So to chain, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and you're going to pull your hook through this loop. So you're just going to pull through and that's your very first chain. And to do that again, you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through that loop and that's two. And you're going to keep doing this until you have 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just a tip, as you're going, you can hold, hold your chains with your fingers and keep moving up just so you have a good grip. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So now we have 16 chains and to count if you want to if you want to recount they look like little arrows here so you can count like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now we're going to move into our very first row and like I said, we're only gonna be using half double crochets in this pattern. So I'm gonna show you how to start. We're going to take our yarn, yarn it over our hook. And as you can see, that's our very first chain. And we're gonna work into the chain beside that. So the second chain from your hook, here's the first chain from our hook and the second. So we're going to insert our hook into that second chain. We're going to take the yarn over the hook and we're going to bring it through that chain and you'll now have three loops on your hook. This is how we're going to create a half double crochet. 
you're going to yarn over your hook and then pull through all three of those loops. And that's your first half double crochet. Again, we're gonna yarn over, and now we're gonna work in the very next chain. You're going to insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain. You have those three loops on your hook, and you're going to grab your yarn and pull through all three. And that's your second half double crochet. And we're gonna keep doing that all the way until the end. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. And you're just gonna keep putting that half double crochet stitch in every chain that we just made, and you'll be ending up with 15 half double crochets. So again, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So just keep doing that stitch all the way until the end. Okay, I wanted to meet you at the end here. We have two chains left. So we're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And this is our very last stitch here, right next to that slip knot that we created at the very beginning. So this is our last stitch. We're gonna yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three loops. And now you have your first row of half double crochets. And you should have 15 of these half double crochets. And here's how you can count them. We started at the beginning. Here's our first one, second, third, fourth, so you can see them, if you spread your yarn apart, you can see them a little easier to count and you should have 15. And to start our next row and all the rows after, we're going to yarn over our hook, pull through that loop, and that creates a chain one. And then we're going to turn our work and we're gonna be working half double crochets in every stitch. So we are going to yarn over and we're going to insert into that very first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three. And then again, we're just creating half double crochets in every single one of these openings. These are our stitches from our previous row, and that's where we're gonna place our half double crochets. As we're coming to the end I wanted to show you where to put your very last stitch so we're gonna half double crochet until the very end and that's right here I know it's hard to see the opening it's not as clear as the other ones but it's gonna be right here so we're gonna yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three so you just want to make sure you're always putting it in the very last stitch because I know it is hard to see sometimes. And then after every row, it's always a good rule of thumb to count your stitches and make sure that you have 15. And we're gonna keep repeating this stitch. And we're gonna keep repeating the row that we just did until we get to row 50. So that was our second row. That was our first one and the one that we just did was our second. So we're gonna keep repeating until we hit 50. So again, you're going to take your yarn put it over your hook, pull through the loop to create your chain one. Then you're gonna turn and you're gonna place a half double crochet in all 15 stitches. So you're just gonna keep repeating this until we get to 50 rows. And then once we reach our 50 rows, that's gonna be the length that we need to wrap it around our heads. And this length is gonna be for adult size heads, anywhere between 21 and 23 inches 
in circumference. So keep going to reach that length. We'll keep doing this until we hit row 50 and I'll meet you back so we can do the closure to create this really fun knot. I promise you it's not as hard as you think it is. So go ahead and keep doing your half double crochet rows until we reach row 50 and I'll meet you back here soon. made it to the end you guys so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our scissors and we're gonna cut a long tail about a foot I would say just to be on the safe side and you're going to act as if you're chaining one and you're gonna pull all the way through to create a knot and we're also going to grab our yarn needle and we're going to take that long tail that we just cut off and we're going to thread it through our needle. I'm gonna thread it through, and this is gonna be the quote unquote tricky part. So I'm gonna lay my needle down over here, just be sure not to pull your yarn out. And I'm gonna show you how we need to fold. So we have both of our short ends here, and we're going to fold these in half like this. And you're going to take this one and fold this one in half as well. You have them like this. And you're going to put this one inside of this one. And you're going to wrap this on the outside. So they're sandwiched together like this. We'll show you again. So we have them folded like this. We're going to take our right side and insert it into the little opening that we have on our left side. And this is going to wrap around like this. So this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to take your needle and you're going to insert it here through here and we're going to make some room and make sure that we pick up this corner and go all the way through and then we're going to come in from in the next stitch on this side and again we're going to go through one two three four all four and pull through and we're just going to keep going back and forth, going through all, all four pieces. And this is going to join them together. So we'll just keep going back and forth. And this is going to be our last one. And then make sure that we go through all of them. And then we're going to tie a knot. And what I like to do is weave in my ends here so I will go just like so and then pull it through and then I can cut this just like that and then you have this tail as well which we're going to need to weave in so you're going to take your yarn needle and thread this little tail through here and again same thing you just want to hide your tail into your work. You can go a couple different directions just to make sure that it's really in there. And then you can snip that one off. And I know what you're thinking, mm, this doesn't look right. And you're correct. Once we sew it, we're actually going to turn it right side out. So there's that little knot in the front of your headband. So that's what it should look like for you. And you have that super fun, cute, twisted knot in the front. And that is how you close it to get your knot. And now your headband is all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you love your headbands. I would love to see all the ones that you make. So be sure to follow me on Instagram and tag me in all the headbands that you're creating. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to see more of my crochet, knit, and crafty tutorials. See you next time. Bye, guys.